Thanks for joining us. We're back for 2021, aren't we, Craig? Oh, we certainly are. And I've got to tell you, Tara, uh, I've been waiting for today. I've been waiting for it. Like last year when we finished with our Christmas special, anyone that's out there that watched that, we had a lot of fun doing that, didn't we, Tara? We did. We did. Uh, we've done a lot of work on what's coming up for this year. Today, we're going we're gonna to use all weather. We're going to talk about all weather. That's uh, right. You know, our exterior leading brand pro or brand product there. Uh, and we're going to be uh, painting a dog kennel. I believe you used some all weather over lockdown, Craig. I certainly did. Um, I redid the outside of my house with Colourbond Wind Spray. That was the colour, one of the Colourbond colours. Nice choice. Uh, yeah, nice and uh, painted my bricks, weatherboards all again. Looks very modern. We're very pleased with it. Uh, what about you, Tara? Did you get up some painting? Yeah, I did. I did the uh, exterior fences at home. I used a, a nice colour called Torben's Billiard Ball, a really, really uh, warm black sort of a colour. That is a dark colour. Uh, yeah. A lot of people out there around all the shops and so on seem to buy the dark colours. Is there any particular benefit to the customers with painting their fences in dark colours? Yeah, it's become more and more popular over the years. I think it makes the, pe the plants really pop. So, yeah. you know, the, the nice greens and the colours of the flowers really pop on the dark background. They don't sort of blend as much into the natural timber as normal. Yeah, that's fantastic. I um, So if you are redoing, you want to do your fences outside, black and, and the real dark colours is something to have a look at and talk to your stockists about. Absolutely. Um, but it is something that's growing in popularity. That's right. So today, Tara, we're going to start with our kennel. This one here. So today we've got a, a little kennel here. We've just bought it from Bunnings. It's a flat pack. Um, we've got our little friend Rover the Cavoodle who needs a new kennel. He's very young, um, isn't he? Well, he's Rover? very young, yeah. so it's his, oh, it's his first kennel actually. Um, but we thought the reason why we do a kennel is to sort of replicate uh, a, well, a house really, because you've got the different trims, we've got a roof, we've got some capping, uh, some trim work, some little tiny eaves here. Um, you might have doors and window frames and also the broad wall of the exterior of the house as well. So. Um, we're just going to show you how well the all weather covers onto a bare surface um, and talk about some of the range that we've got with that as well. So I'm going to start painting, Craig. Okay, that's no problem. Now, I'm just going to, before I get into some of the different sheen levels within the range of all weather, um, I want to talk to you, Tara, like the colour that you're using on the uh, our little weather boards here. What colour is that? Yeah, so this is uh, Colourbond Shale Grey. Uh, really, really popular. And I've got this in the all weather gloss because... Uh, you know, Rover's a shiny dog and he wants a shiny home to match his coat. It does, it makes it a bit brighter, doesn't it? The gloss just brightens up things a little bit more. Uh, the lower sheen levels will hide those imperfections and actually make a more damaged or rough surface look better. So that's something to be aware of when we're choosing sheen level. Um, we've got trims here. What yep. colour is that on the trim stars? Yeah, so the trims that we've got are actually Taubman's Crisp White. It's one of our most popular colours. Um, so it's a nice fresh white. Uh, that really outlines the surrounding areas of whatever you're doing, whether it's, you know, the trims on the outside of the house or even the trims around the door frames and the windows inside as well. Yeah, so it really frames it. We've gone for the Hamptons. Look, we want our little Rover to be uh, living in luxury from an early part <laughs> of his life. So we've gone for that. We think it's going to actually balance in with the uh, homeowner's place. So we'll see how we go with all that. But um, we wanted to also show you guys the back of the kennel we left with no paint on it because we wanted to show you how well all weather covers. This is just one coat of all weather straight onto your bare timber. The coverage power is unbelievable. Like we look at this product as a standalone product in the market. It has some features and benefits that no other exterior paint has. We will go into more detail as we talk more about it with our live stream today. Um, but it's just beautiful. It's How would you describe that paint, Tara, as you put it on? Yeah, so it flows on really well. We make this product really easy for customers to use because we don't want it to be an ordeal. We want it to go on nicely and basically hassle-free when you're painting. A bit like silk, yeah? Yeah, or I like to say butter. butter. A bit like yeah, butter. Yeah, Tara's in the actually. butter camp. <laughs> like a bit of buttered toast and things in the morning, no problem at all. So, Craig, I'm using a gloss here. Is there any sort of preferences to sheen levels on certain surfaces? Uh, good question, Tara. Uh, look, guys, the reality is if you have a surface like a rendered surface, a little bit of a rough rendered surface on your home, you might not use gloss because those rougher surfaces, the gloss will show up more imperfections. So a lot of people use the matte finish. 
So you have the four sheen levels in the all weather range. You have the matte and the low sheen, which be more prevalent to hiding imperfections. You have the semi-gloss and the gloss to actually frame and really give a good feature to it. Like we're doing today, we want to make Rover's Castle um, really pop and look fantastic. So I've got to say, Tara, one coat. Look, a lot of people are going to do one coat of this and go, fantastic, I won't do any more. Please do another coat, at least. You know, um, now my painting skills aren't as good as yours, Craig, because you're a professional, but this has come up pretty well with one well, coat, and hasn't that's, it? That's why I've got you painting it, Tara, <laughs> because anyone, like anyone can make, make their job look good. All weather is a DIY friendly product. Last bloody forever, does a great job, covers beautifully, and we're going to go into some more features as we go forward. Now, that looks great, Tara. We'll clean it up and finish off a second coat later. Yep. Let's turn this around because I want to have a look. You've done something different with the roof. Yep. So let's just carefully pick this up. Remember, we're live, everyone. So if things go wrong... <laughs> well, I hope not. They won't go wrong. Okay. All right. So on the roof here, uh, what we've done is we've done a coat of the squirts or the white knight squirts in the gloss medium grey. Uh, so this is one of our products. It's exclusive to Bunnings. It's a paint and prime product, dry in 10 minutes, recoat in an hour. And it's a good multi-purpose product that you can use on most surfaces in and around the home. And all you um, did well. was just spray a coat, a couple of coats on there? Yeah, so I've done a couple of coats on this one. It's covered really well. It was a nice dark green colour, um, but we just thought we'd modernise it a little bit. Uh, you know, Rover the Cavoodle wanted a bit more of a Hamptons look. So we've gone with a nice, uh, you know, white and grey colour scheme here to cover it. I think um, Rover will be very pleased I with our so. colour choices. And if he's not, he can always buy some more paint and do it himself again. That's right. Because so, <laughs> we probably won't be. <coughs> um, yep. So that's fantastic. Now, shall we do the grand reveal on how it looks from the front? Yeah, absolutely. But everyone wants to see that. Look, guys, also, before I do the grand reveal here, any questions that you might have during our live stream here, please... Uh, send them in so we can have a look at them and, and hopefully answer those questions later on at the end of the session. So yep. if you have anything, type them in, send them through. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, All righty. And we've even got his name. We have got his name. So in the Rover's name there, we've just done that in our squirt. So same product that we used on the roof, but we've done it in the gloss cherry red. Um, so as you can see, we've got the medium gray on the roof, Torment's crisp white on the trims, Colourbond shale grey on the face, uh, and the red on the lettering as well. Yep. So again, those the Squirts products are only in Bunnings. They're exclusive to Bunnings. Beautiful spray cans. Really, they work on pretty much everything. They are fantastic. Yeah. Um, but the Rover looks great, stands out there, and I love it. It really does pop, this whole scheme. So like you said, crisp white, shale grey, and some machinery grey on the roof there. So yep. that's fantastic, or medium grey, should I say, not machinery grey. So what do you think, in the all weather, what do you think is the biggest advantage for customers when they use this on their home? Okay, so the... So here we go, okay? So we're gonna tell you the secret right now and then we're gonna explain it, yeah? Yeah. That's how we'll roll. Okay, so the secret to all weather, it says it on the front of the can, it's one of the features, it's the dirt shedding technology. Now, a lot of people are gonna go, oh, that can't be that good, right? It doesn't sound that glamorous. Dirt shedding technology, that stops all of the bits and particles that fly around in the air, smack into your home with the wind, damage the paint film that actually resists all those things from making their home not look brand new yep all weather so it doesn't clean itself that's right <laughs> so <laughs> but it does stop the paint from making it look old yep. people don't repaint their homes when they're flaking and cracking and everything's falling off they paint their homes when it loses the new look most people will go oh it's looking a little bit faded time for a change of color let's freshen it up that That's type right. of attitude. All weather will look newer for longer because of this technology. They're interlocking particles. Like we've discovered, it feels like butter. It's very smooth when it goes on. It actually covers like a dream, like we showed you on the bare timber there before. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You know, uh, this product resists all sleet, grime, snow, hail, whatever you want, fantastically well. Fully self-priming. Like It's the bee's knees, this product. It is. So when you're out there thinking about what you need for any surface outside, 
absolutely think about all weather. It is a standalone product. Other paints out there, and we've got other paints for outside too, Tara, within yep. the PPG family. They're often, their focus is all about flexibility. Now, all weather, it has a good flexibility. We've done tests on it, yep. but it also has that dirt resistance. It has that smoothness. The other products are more, I suppose you would say the molecules are more open. So when that dirt and everything is smacking onto your house, it gets into the paint film easier. And then it breaks down quicker. And then it breaks down quicker. And so it makes your paint film look older, yep. much quicker. All weather resists that. That's right. So what sort of surfaces is all weather suitable for? Oh, look, any type of timber surface. Yep. Um, Galvanised gutters, PVC downpipes, yep. rendered surfaces, mm -hmm. hardy board. Um, you can pretty much put all weather on anything you can think. <laughs> Yep. So off the top of my head, there's a few. Yep. Um, All the common sort of substrates on the outside absolutely. of the house. Absolutely. There's only there's only one surface that you would have to prime yep. before putting all wood, and that would be That's any right. metal that has iron in it. Yep. So if you have a steel beam or something, you probably want to put a nice rust rust proof primer. Yep. And then you can put all weather on top if you wanted to. You can That's use right. all weather on that as well. So. Yeah, all weather doesn't have a rust inhibitor in it. We have specific products for rust inhibitor and stopping rust coming through. Yep. Now, one of the biggest advantages of the all weather is that you can have it in any colour that you like. So you can choose anything off the colour wall. You can also create your own colour using our Colorsmith app. Um, but probably what our most important colour choice is for all weather is our match to colour bond colours. So all weather is an exceptional match uh, to colour bond. And we've got some here. So this is a little bit of corrugate. Now, we've painted this with woodland grey, colour bond woodland grey, which I have yep. this on. I didn't take any roof off, any part of my roof <laughs> off. This is a separate piece, but yep. I have this on my roof at home. So we wanted to show, this is made up in all weather. Yep. And we wanted to show it against a piece of colour bond steel. So yep. there you go, everybody. You can see the colour match is really, really good. Our colours match to colour bond beautifully. Yep. And so, Confidence is key with anything. So if you do have colour bond in your home, and it is one of the most most commonly used finishes on it outside of a home, yep. you can be really confident about those colours within the Torbman's range. And you can also get it in matte or semi-gloss, which are the two sheen levels that colour bond comes in as well. Yeah, so this, this actually is classed as a semi-gloss. It is. So our semi-gloss in the all weather will exactly match that sheen level. Yep. Though, did you know low sheen is only a touch less shiny? Yep. Like, a lot of people would have trouble actually picking it. Mm. So be aware of that. But low sheen and semi-gloss outside, you'll never go wrong. Yep. Um, all right. So I don't know if there's uh, too much else we want to say about it, but I, I'm like the dark colours we spoke about, I wanted to touch on that again. Yep. So all colours, Tara, what you were saying is all colours in the in the spectro with, with all weather, yep. they're all self-priming? Yes, they are. So you can use yep. them on all surfaces. You don't need any primers? No no primer and no restriction to colour either. So any sheen level, any colour. See, that's fantastic. And we know that uh, the technology is just building and growing. Our chemists keep working on these technologies. All weather is the leading technology from our array of products. We want you guys to use it. You'll be blown away if you use it. You can use it on anything. Yep. Let's see some dog kennels painted up. We want to see on our well, photos sent through. Yep. We want to see everything. So. You know, guys, get out there. Last year, COVID was really, really hard on everyone. Projects started to really get people getting involved in their projects. Let's jump into all weather and make your homes look fantastic. Now, after saying all of that, Tara, yep. do we want to find out whether anyone is out there listening to us and yeah. asking any questions? See if we've got I, any questions. I, I really hope there is. Yeah. Oh, we've just had, uh, we have got some questions. Uh, Lara, the lovely Lara, would you like to let us know what they are? So would all weather work on a deck? Very good question. Yeah. Okay, so all weather would not be one that we're recommending to be walked on at this stage. No. Um, basically, we recommend our, uh, and our other exterior brand, we've got Sunproof Low Sheen. That's fully fine to be walked on. Yep. So I think the Sunproof just penetrates in a little bit better on the decks, a little bit harder resistant to the actual traffic. So Different product, different, different technology. Product, yeah. yeah, but great uh, question though. Great question, yep, yeah. absolutely. So not walkable surfaces. Um, and so there's also the awning, she's asked. Um, can I use it on my gutters? On the gutters? All the water that goes into the rainwater tank um, is basically for rainwater. 
Okay, so gutters and rainwater. So you could use it on the outside of a gutter. Yep. That would be no problem. Probably wouldn't use it on the inside of a gutter. That's a more specialty sort of product. All weather's not suitable for drinking water. Um, it's got a really high antibacterial additive in it, um, which is really great for, you know, really damp areas and things like that, um, but not suitable for drinking water. However, again, our sunproof is, so our other product for that one. Yeah. Do you have to prime first over colour bond? No, you do not. That's a, thank you, Katrina, for that question. Yep. Um, really, if it was old weathered colour bond that had been more than six months out in the weather, mm -hmm. basically give it a bit of a clean down with a with a gurney, yep. and you can go straight on with your all weather. If it was brand new colour bond, there is a couple of processes you have to go through. Um, you can either lightly sand it, or yep. you can wipe it down with a xylene based thinner, yep. which Bunning sells in their solvent bay yep. um yeah but that will basically take that brand new film off if it was brand new color bond you wanted to paint over yep you've got to do that uh or otherwise wait six months for the weather to naturally take that brand new film off and then you could paint straight on but old color bond no problem if you're wanting but to rejuvenate no it maybe update your color scheme no problem as all at all as long as the surface is nice and all clean. weathers 100 percent done and dusted over color bond yep. no worries at all That was it. Oh, no that worries. Was it. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us today, guys. We really appreciate it. Um, keep a lookout on the socials for us. Um, we'll be back next month and, and for the rest of the year. We've got some exciting projects coming up. Once a month. Um, oh, actually, I've got one more thing, though, Tara. Oh, yeah. That yeah. I want to just, I've just remembered. Yeah. Give yeah. me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, it's about all weather again. Yeah. Um, and I, I just want to say. Is it weather that resistant, I... mate? Jeez, thanks you're for right. that. Thanks for that. All right. All weather, all surfaces, all good. That's my line. <laughs> On that note, we'll see you next month. Thanks, Tara. Thanks, thanks everyone.